Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math, Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 18, Homework. And so just like the previous lesson, we're going to pick it up right where we left off. And the objective is to use basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. And so our strategy is to round the divisor first. If you want to write that up here, round the divisor. You can do that. That's maybe going to help you. And after you round the divisor, the second step is to find a multiple of the divisor so that you can then have a super duper easy, uh, rounded, estimated, using compatible numbers problem. Okay, and remember, we're not just following the regular rounding rules. We're using compatible numbers that go together so that this work is easy. We want the easy button. Easy, 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 make it easy. So let's hop on right here to be 23 round the divisor first gets rounded to 20. A multiple of 20 that is close to, or two, that's close to 2,109, well, you can just use 2,000. And then we use our offsetting zero strategy. Find the pair. If I have a, one on this side and one on this side, all I can do is take out one. That leaves us with 200 divided by two, which is two divided by two for one, and the two extra zeros come down. Okay, so really easy, just like the previous lesson. Hopefully now you are professionals at it. Round the divisor first, that would give us something around 40. Now I want a multiple of four that's close to 8,215. I want easy. I'm gonna stick with rounded to the nearest uh, hundred or thousand, depending on how close we are. Find the offsetting zeros, there's one pair. Got 800 divided by four, eight divided by four is two, the zeros come down. Next one, round the divisor first. And then find something that is close to a multiple of six. Find a multiple of six to help me get close to 3,861. As we go through, they're gonna move you further and further away from your divisor, so it makes you feel awkward. Really nice of them. So anyway, we're gonna take our 38 and say, well, that's pretty close to 36. Each successive digit will then become a zero. Don't just leave it at 36. It's 3,600 or 3,600. Use your offsetting zero strategy. Divide 36 by six to get six, and now we have one zero that comes down. Next one, what should we do first? How about round the divisor? Let's use 70 as we're moving further away from those tens. Look at, they give you like a, an eight and a nine, and now we're at a six. We're really close to the middle, but still close enough to 70. I need a multiple of seven that's close to 2,899, and we can use 2,800. If you know your multiplication facts, this is so easy. 28 divided by seven is four. You have an extra zero. There you go. Okay, round the divisor first. Use a multiple of nine that is close to 5,576. For a lot of these, I mean, we're going up and down, but you might have to go down. So close to 55, a multiple of nine is 54. Don't forget the last two digits. Those should become zeros. Look for pairs to offset to simplify your problem. Divide 54 by nine. That gives you your six. Bring down the zero. Next one. Round the divisor first. 70, find a multiple of seven. That's close to 50. And hopefully you know that seven times seven is 49ers. That's right, so we're gonna use 49 and then the other two digits. Find your offsetting zeros, one, two. 49 divided by seven is seven and the other one comes down. For this one, we're gonna round the divisor first. What a good choice. For this one, also notice that they gave us something that is kind of in between. So if I'm counting by eights, I know that I could use 8,000 because eight with zero, zero, zero. Some kids might say, well, what about 8,800? And I would say, I'm not gonna stop you. I'm gonna use 8,000 though, because it's really easy. And so offset your zeros, eight divided by eight is one and two zeros are left. 
If you use 88, you'll have 11 there or 110. So uh, what should we do here? How about rounding the divisor? Good. Now I need a multiple, this one's so easy, a multiple of nine that's close to nine. So look, let's just use 9,000, offset your zeros. Nine divided by nine is one and it comes down. It's almost like it's too easy. It really is just too easy. Let's move up. I know it always sounds creaky. Kids are like, your chair. Okay, round the divisor first. How about to 50? And now a multiple of five that's close to 27. What should we use? 25 would work if you wanna go up to 30. You can use 3,000, it's totally up to you. Offset your zeros. Sorry, if you get on the zero there. 25 divided by five is five. The zero comes down. If you use 30, you're gonna have six and then uh, 60. Moving right along, round the divisor first. A multiple close to, a multiple of nine close to 81. Gee, this is not hard. Know your facts and they're so easy. 81 divided by nine is nine. Bring the zero down. Round the divisor first to 60. I need a multiple of six close to 4,368 or 43. So I'm gonna use 42 because I know my multiples. Offset your zeros, 42 divided by six is what? Seven, bring down the zero. Round the, that's right, divisor first. I need a multiple of seven, close to 6,537, or what's close to 65? If you know your facts, 63. Don't forget each place value position for those last digits. Offset your zeros, do your division, end up with 90. Next one, I'm rounding the divisor first. I know you're surprised, right? And then we're gonna be close to 49, which is 50. And at this point, you offset the zeros. And now you divide, and then you're left with a pair of zeros. Next one, oh, finally, finally, something to talk about. All right, so here we have 25. So smack dab in the middle. Now I start to look over here and I go, okay, if I was to use, say, 30, then I would want a multiple of three that's close to 61. Well, it's really easy to use 6,000. So now here is when you start thinking about how can I stay close to this without going too far with my multiple from what I started with. Anyway, press the easy button because we just wanna be close. Offset your zeros, divide six by three, you can get two, and then you have your final answer. If you have something else that's close to that, if you use 20, you can also use 6,000. You can use, um, well, I probably wouldn't use 25 at this point because I just don't want it to be uh, a hassle with additional counting or any carrying over. All right, here we have a word problem. 91 boxes of apples hold a total of 2,605 apples. Assuming each box has about the same number of apples, estimate the number of apples in each box. Each is a fancy way of saying one, one box. So if I have uh, the total that's given to me, 2,605 apples, and it's 91 boxes, then now we have set up our problem because we're trying to find one box. We have all this other information, but we only need to estimate. Using the strategy we know, round the divisor first. Find a factor, a, a multiple of nine that is close to 26. If you know your multiples, then you would say, oh, 27 is a multiple of nine give each other place value their zero. Now do your division, so it's offset the zeros, divide 27 by nine to get three, that leaves you with the last zero unaccounted for. And so your final answer, don't forget to say about or approximately, because this is not an exact answer, about 30 apples are in each box. Write your answer in a statement and move on. Oh yeah, and click subscribe if you like my videos. Yay, come back again.
All right, this last one is more than one uh, calculation because we have four different things happening here. A wild tiger can eat up to 55 pounds of meat in a day. About how many days would it take for a tiger to eat the following prey? So here are the different types of prey that you have to ca uh, calculate. Here is the weight. So we've got the antelope, the boar, chital deer, I'm not sure how to say that one, water buffalo, uh, and so the number of days, kind of a creepy problem, but uh, good for this time of year. So let's take the total amount of prey for each one and set up our problems, and we only need to estimate. So it shouldn't be too bad. How about the antelope? I always like to label everything so you can keep it clear. Take your total. 1,754 and divide it by the 55 pounds that could be eaten in a day and we're just estimating. Now notice that it's 55 so if you were to go up or down it's going to be okay. We want to find something that's close or approximate. So if I look at this 17 and I know that a multiple of 5 would be 15, but I also know that a multiple of 6 is 18. Some students will go up and some will go down. I think I'm going to round up and go to 1800. So that's just my choice today. If I offset my zeros, 18 divided by 6 is 3 and the zero comes down. This is approximately 30 days. Okay, so that's kind of how you do it. I'm going to take the boar and look at the total pounds here. So I've got 661 pounds, but the max number, my divisor, is always the same. So again, kind of looking at the 55 and looking at my dividend, I want to be close. So instead of using 50, I'm going to go up to 60 again. And this time, I think I'm just going to use 66. That would get me very, very close. Offset your zeros, and what do you have? You have 66 divided by 6, which gives you 11. Approximately 11 days. Okay, now you could have used something else. You could have used 50 and gone down to 500. You can use 60 and go to 600. Answers may vary on these assignments, so don't think, oh, I'm wrong. Don't get all worried. Dear. 183 pounds, they're getting smaller, divided by 55. Again, I've got this multiple of six right here, so I'm gonna use what works for me. I'm gonna round this to 60, and then change this to 180, offset my zeros, divide 18 by six to get three. And finally, oh, they got smaller, and then pow, water buffalo. Let's call them buff. All right, so we got our buff. Two, three, two, two is the total amount of pounds, just gigantic, divided by 55. Now here, when I look at this, I go, okay, I could go from 55 to 50 and use 2,000, but that's, that's dropping off those 322. Or I could round it to 60 again and use what? 24. So answers may vary, you do you, whatever feels comfortable. Offset your zeros, 24 divided by six is four, the extra zero comes down approximately 40 days. And answers may vary, so if you used a couple different digits, you might have something like 50. But, uh, but anyway, I hope this is helpful, and this is a pretty quick lesson, so uh, click subscribe, come back again, and I will see you on the next video. You'll hear me on the next video. Bye for now.